Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to remotely control your curtains with the SwitchBot curtain. In the middle I purchased the SwitchBot curtain. It's a robot that you attach to the curtain rod. I've also got the SwitchBot mini hub and also the SwitchBot remote. This is a little remote control. All three of these items you got to purchase separately. So here's what the remote's got. The remote's got two buttons. The switch bot you have to charge with USB-C on the back. And here's what it looks like. It's got like a, that's got like a little bit of rubber on it. There's a roller that's gonna move the curtains. There's some rollers up here. You're gonna put this on. It's got like a ratcheting action. There's a release button here. But it does take 10 hours to charge this. And again, these, these arms do come off. Press these little tabs here. So it does, everything seems very well made. These go on. They got like a ratcheting action. If you want any kind of measurements, I also did an unboxing on each one of these separate items individually. But this is gonna be a demonstration video on how to install it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge it. This does come with a cable to charge it, but the nice thing about it is it is USB-C. But you do have to have a, your own wall out, your own wall charger to charge it. And the manual says it does take 10 hours to fully charge this. Next, we've got the SwitchBot Hub Mini. So this needs power also. This is um, micro USB that you plug in. It doesn't have a battery or anything. But you do have to plug this into a wall, uh, wall charger also that it does not come with. But you've got to have this in order for you so your smartphone can, can, can control the curtains. And on the box, this one says rod. Now the SwitchBot did come with this like vinyl strip. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to use it or not. And it also come up with these clips. So if you've got fabric curtains that hang on the top of the rod, you're supposed to put these, these clips underneath the fabric and then snap it down that way it slides on the rod like this. It comes with 16 of those clips. Each of the products comes with a pretty nice manual with good pictures and a good description so far on how to use everything. Okay, so the reason we bought it, we want, we want to open these curtains in the morning with a remote control or with our voice. And so we've got a rod, but here's how the curtains normally act. So we're gonna see if we can get these curtains to go one way with the switch bot. So for the way we're gonna be using it, we will have to hook these curtains together so that when it closes, it does need a little bit more. So we'll have to somehow hook these two together. Okay, so I downloaded the switch bot app, and then I had to click the little plus button up here, and it can kind of see some of your devices. I've got the, the hub mini and a curtain plugged in, but then it wants you to so click on the curtain one, then it wants you to long press, there's a little button right there, long press that button and then that light will start flashing really fast. Then click next. Takes just a little bit for it to connect. Once it's connected, then it'll show up here on your home screen. Down here you got home and then it'll show up right there. Looks like I can click close. And so then it's, it's actually working. So my uh, tablet is connected to the Wi-Fi and it's working without using the Hub Mini. So I'm not having to use the Hub Mini and I was able to get it to connect to my tablet. Okay, so I'm gonna add the remote control. You can go to add again and it showed up there. Click on it and it wants you to press these two buttons simultaneously until it beeps and then click next and now it's, now it's connected. Once it connects, connects it'll say it'll show up here on all devices so now let's connect the mini hub okay so it may or may not show up here if it doesn't click hub mini it wants you to long press the button on top and then it'll click the next so I've got the hub mini plugged in we're gonna long press this button here okay the lights flashing fast now I'm gonna click the next button Okay, so this one's acting a little different. It wants me to give the Wi-Fi. So find your SSID, your Wi-Fi 
that's being transmitted and then you got to give it the password okay so something interesting here so that's my wi-fi signal ginkgo tree but when i tried I, I put the password in and click next it says the ssid cannot contain a space space is not supported so i might have to go into my wi-fi signal and change that what's being transmitted that does so it won't have a space okay so getting everything set up on this switchbot app was a little tricky again so I think the curtains will work. You, can, you don't have to have the Hub Mini. I think the Hub Mini is just if you want to use voice control with your Amazon or Google device. I'll be doing a separate video on that. But I was able to connect the, the remote control. And then once you got the remote control connected, you got to go in and you got to tell it what you, what, what you want those buttons to do. So you've got two buttons on the remote. Click this. And I told it I wanted to control the curtain, and I wanted to do fully open. I slid that to fully open. Then go back. Then this button here, I wanted to do. I wanted to control the curtain 72, and go to fully close. I had to slide it over there. And then let's go back. Um, and then the curtain it connected. So you it comes up with this screen. When you click, that's the curtain robot. Click on more. You can control it from here. You could press open or close. But click on more. Now it does tell you how much it, how much uh, battery charge it comes with. Okay, so it does use Bluetooth. So if your tablet is not connecting to the robot, you've got to be pretty close to it, like in the same room. It's not Wi-Fi. It's connecting with Bluetooth. So it does tell you the battery percentage. I can click on open or close here. But something you're going to have to learn how to do is click on this little uh, wheel up here. And you've got to go into a calibration. You're gonna to have to calibrate it as soon as you get it. Okay, so I am gonna show you, I got mine to work. It actually works really good. I installed it behind here, between the two loops here. So it's on the rod, but it's behind this. I've got the remote control program. So I press this one button and it does open. And then I can press this other button, the bottom button and it closes. Now, I only have one robot and all my, my curtains just closed to the left all the way. You can set that up in calibration. Okay, let's press the open button again. And these curtains are really tall and heavy and it's doing a pretty good job. But in calibration, you're going to tell it where to stop. That's fully open, and then I calibrated fully closed. Okay, so the biggest trick with this robot is this rod. The rod has to be... Now, I mine worked the best with all one piece. So I had to do some switching. This is my other window, and I had to switch out its rod because it had a, a, a longer rod. This was longer. But when this was installed on with the robot, the robot can't handle these things. Now, maybe if I had some tape but it really couldn't handle that the one rod was smaller than the other because you're going to clamp that robot down on the bigger one and then when it transitions to the smaller one, it just can't grip it. Now, I know this one's called all out of whack, but I just wanted to show you. I had this on the other one and it was, it was straight. This one's just overextended, um, but it cannot handle this kind of transition. And so I had it ended up using the rod on the, t on the longer window. So this is all one piece. It's got the small piece that slides in there, but I, was, I have to have one piece for the rod. So you may have to buy an oversized one for your window and, and have it still fit so you, it doesn't extend past that little piece. Okay, so I'm going to take mine out. I'm going to recalibrate it, but I want to show you. So there it is. It fits in between those two um, holes there, and it does move the curtain just fine. I'm going to release it. Okay, so you are going to have to charge this once in a while. It, you, I don't know how exactly how long it's going to last, but you are going to have to take it off of your or curtain and charge it. So there's a couple ways you can take it off. You can press this button here as a release button, and that lets that come up. But you can also take these off, press these two buttons here, and it will come off like that too.
Okay, so we're, I'm gonna put this on my curtain rod. Now here's the trick. You've gotta, you gotta sandwich this out. See, hear the, hear the ratcheting action? That ratcheting action, but that's not enough. See how it's nice and loose? It's, and the motor's running right now and it's not even moving. When that motor runs, it should uh, move and there is a button on the back. Um, but so what you gotta end up doing is you gotta, what I end up doing is pressing these two together right here, like, like that. And that but you got to be careful this can break these little things can break but it does need to be nice and tight you see how now when the button press or when you press the button it actually moves and see there's how it moves and it all has to do with getting these these tight right here which can be hard and I found the best thing to do is to come back here and sandwich them together now be careful it says they can break this is all plastic so so again when you want to release it just press this button right here and you'll hear it kind of come apart then you got to you can see now it's, it's but it's not enough to get it off yet so if you open it up wider then you can take it on and off so now we're going to put it in the curtain behind we're going to put it right there on the curtain rod okay so now we're going to do calibration i've got the app open i've got the robot opened click the little wheel up here Go to calibration. Confer I want to re so. All right, let's try that again. Go to calibration. So this is where you're going to decide what what it is. So mine moved to the left to open. If yours moved to the right to open, or if you've got two, and you need two of these to open them in the middle. So I'm going to press this one because mine opened to the left. Then click go to calibration. Now this is where I'm going to control the robot. It gets a little tricky here, but you're going to move it and until the fully uh, open position and then hit the, and then hit pause. But if it's not right where you need it to be, you can go back and then go back that way and hit pause. And then we're going to hit the next button when we got it where we want. So you can see my, mine's right in the middle. I'm going to hit move left. I hit pause. Okay. It's not, I would be doing this being able to see it but it's not quite full open yet. So again, just, just hit there. Okay, so now full open. If, if that's too far that way, then just move it to the right a little bit. And you would move it to the right with this button and then just hit pause. So let's say that's right where I want it. That's full open. Now I'm gonna hit next. Now it says move it to the closed position. So now I'm going to move, move it to the right and it's moving. I'm going to manually stop it with the button. I got to come down here. So it's not quite all the way close. So I'm going to go right and then pause. It could go just a little bit more. Okay. That's fully closed. My curtains are fully closed now. And again, you can, you can move it back and forth to get it right. It took me a long time to get mine just right. I had to go back left, back right, and then hit pause. When you've got it right where you want it, hit next. Now it's gonna check your settings. It's gonna check your calibration. Click this button, it says move to fully open. So now it's gonna move it, it's gonna check to make sure this is where you want it when it goes fully open. Yeah, that's about right. I could have had it a little more to the left, but this is just for demonstration. If it's not where you want it, you can hit this recalibrate fully open button. Mine, I'm gonna leave mine. Now I'm gonna go to re, I'm gonna check fully closed. Now it's moving it to fully closed. Okay, I come back down here. If I like it, I go to finish. If I don't, I can recalibrate fully closed, but I like it. Finished. Now you're done. Go back up here. And now the curtain, now when I press this fully, it'll go to those calibrated spots on the curtain rod that I've set. So now when I go open, the curtain opens. Or no. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but I press this button here and it goes fully open. And then now when I press the bottom button, fully closed. So calibrating fully open and, and fully closed is very important. 
And this app does let you kind of say you want to just go partial open. It will just go partially open and stop. That's very nice. Or you can just click close and it closes all the way. So the biggest thing I can tell you is make sure your rod is all one piece. And that might be the hardest challenge um, is making sure your rod is all one piece and it doesn't have that little, that little lip. I know they can get, they give you some tape and they tell you to put the tape there, but the tape doesn't work because you've got two thicknesses of rod. You've got a thick rod and a thinner rod and that you've got to sandwich that robot on this one. And then when it goes to the, what I found when it went to the smaller rod, it just wasn't sandwiched enough to move. I'm actually very happy with it. Um, I'm thankful that I had a single piece rod that I could put with it, but this is going to be a nice addition. It's the motor's not super loud, you know, taking it off, charging it once in a while might be kind of a not so good deal, but wow, it really works. And the best part of it is it's concealed back here. So you don't even see it. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing other videos to show you how to hook it up to the devices. If you want to talk to it, talk to your Google or Amazon device.